In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a double-sided business card in GIMP. Hello everyone, it's Tawanda from Little Nzo and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon. Right, as promised last week, this week we're going to be looking at a detailed business card design in GIMP. I've decided to show you guys how to make, how to design rather, a double-sided business card. I strongly encourage those that haven't watched the first tutorial to do so, since it will give you the basis or the background and equip you with the necessary skills to be able to follow through this specific tutorial. Now, without wasting much of your time, let's get started. So we're going to go to file, new, and then pick any template you think works for you. And then click on the drop down and select transparency, which I always do. I like working with a transparent background. Next it's image, new guide by percentage. Click OK. And then since the first one is horizontal, go back to image, guides, new guide by percentage, then select vertical and click OK. The next thing we're going to do is create this new layer here and then fill it with a darker shade of grey. Just adjust that. Um, let's see which one works. I think that's that's OK. No, rather that one. Yeah, that's fine. Now we select the bucket tool and then fill that in. Now, creating this next new layer might be unnecessary depending on, on the look and feel you want to work with, but for me, I'd rather create another layer and have it use the gradient tool to color it from purple to, to a darker shade of blue. So I'm just going to select the gradient tool here and then change that to foreground to background RGB. Then just adjust that. Um, let's see. Right. Move that there. Bring that down a bit. That should be fine. Then the next thing is I'm going to reduce the transparency just to get the exact look and feel from this business card that I really want to work with. Just touch this up a little. Right. That should be fine. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is, you in this particular tutorial, we're going to use grids. So we're going to go to view, show grid, and then image, guides, sorry, configure grid rather. Then since it's a darker background, let's change the grid lines. Just make it into a, turn it, change it into a lighter shade, into a lighter color. Click OK. And then now we adjust the grid spacing. And let's move that there. OK, right. See, right, that should be fine. Click OK. Right. Now, the next step would be to create, to start creating the shape, la shape layers. So I'm just going to adjust that color so we can have a, a shape layer with a gradient from that purplish color to a blue color. Right, just gonna create a new layer and then onto our shape layer we add the gradient and then select none. Now we rotate it. Just see minus thirty five. Let's see how it looks like. There. That should be okay. Let's move that. Oh, and yeah, I just realized we're supposed to put the logo first before creating the shape layer. So let's just position that and then we can go ahead and drag and drop our logo. Now, since the logo is much bigger than the canvas, we're going to scale it. Make sure it's, it's the right size you want to work with. Scale it a bit more. 
I confuse the size of it right like that. That should be okay. Click scale. And then, like I showed you in the last tutorial, I need to get rid of the layer boundary. So that's the logo layer. Right. Now that it's gone, we can move on to the next step. Right. Now let's create a new layer. Select the rectangle tool. Then now we change that blue to a yellow color. Grab the gradient tool, so, or rather let's switch the colors first. And then we grab the gradient tool. Click and drag. Let's see. No, bring it in a bit more like that. Yeah, that should be fine, that should be fine. So let's go to select, none. Then let's duplicate that layer. Right, and then turn off the visibility for the bottom layer. Okay, now we rotate that. Let's see. Let's try 35. Let's go. Okay, let's drag it and position it where we want it. Let's see, no too close to the logo. Bring it back a bit. Alright, that should be fine. And then turn on the visibility for that layer. Now we rotate and position it. Alright, let's zoom in, edit, and then let's clear that. Well, that before we do this, we just have to merge the two layers together. So you right click on the top layer, select the merge down option, and then merge them to become one layer. And then now we can go ahead and delete that uh, section there. Okay, that should be fine. Right now let's position it right about there. See. Yeah, that should that should pretty much do it. So this is the front part of the business card. And now what we need to do is work on the back side, the back part where we're gonna have the details. Right, so you go to file, new. So now these steps are basically the same as uh, what we just did creating this first front part of the business card so i'm just gonna uh, fast track that part you know just because we're gonna put our gra we're gonna put our guides horizontal and vertical we're gonna put our grid there and just configure it the same as we did with the first one so i'm just gonna quickly go through that then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start borrowing layers or in the layers we just created so you can see we've dragged the background layer the first background layer we put we've also dragged the logo layer now we're drop, we're dragging the shape layers, right? And right now we're just turning off the visibility so we don't, so we can see clearly what we want to work with. So let's start with this one. Position it down here. Okay, turn on visibility for that layer. Oops, flipping the wrong layer. Undo that. Right. And let's try position it uh, there. Right. Let's just clear the excess bits around that. Now then let's try scale it first. Good. They should be fine. Okay. Now the logo, let's scale it. Since we already have the big logo at the front, this one can be smaller. Let's put it right about there or anywhere else you think might work. And then now the next step would be to drag and drop the icon. So this is just basic drag and drop. Let's make sure that's the top layer. Invert col the colors to make it white that and scale it that should be fine now we repeat for the next icons so we go with the location icon invert the colors to turn it white scale it put it in position scale it further 
right? Then you just do that with every other icon we think might be necessary or we need to have in the business card, like that. Positioning is entirely up to you, wherever you think works for you. And you could also adjust the grids to make sure that your icons are well aligned. Put that again, scale it. Yeah, so here I'm just, I'm just taking the shortcut. I'm not, I'm not really making it perfect. Uh, I apologize to all perfectionists watching this video, but just need to show you the rough, or roughly how you can go about in doing it. So yeah, I've read that, scale it, put it in position. A bit, bit, right. Okay, that should be fine. And then the next step would be to put our text. Let's move it up. Let's, let's try adjusting that. And just so you know, my surname is not Nzo. Little Nzo is the company name. My name, my name is Tawanda. Just trying to make it look a bit more practical because normally you have your first name and your surname. So let's put that there. Now we create the position. I'll be humble and just refer to myself as a designer. Put that right below Nzo there. And then now the address and everything else. Right. There we go. Just need to adjust that a bit more. So like I said, I discussed this in detail in the first video when it comes to adjusting your text spacing and everything else so here i'm not really going to go in depth but the next step here is optional again i like putting the rare skyline on my business card uh, let's just drag that and make sure it's at the back just above the background layer and then we adjust the transparency because it doesn't have to be too bright or too outstanding. You just make it as that. Sh that should be fine. And yeah, we're done. That's the back part of the business card. So you can choose to have the front and the back with the same background color, or you can go the route I have, I've taken, where you just put a different color at the front and another color in the back. And then now, once you're done, you can go to File, Export as. So depending on who's doing your printing or how you want it saved, you can just change the format you want to save as. Like in this case, you can have it as PDF, PNG, JPEG. Yeah, really depends on what you want. So I'm just going to rename it, business card, back. Export it. No, rather, let's, let's export it as PNG. And we're done. Let's just remove those to see and have a clearer look at what we just designed. We're done. That's the back of the business card. So if you find this useful or helpful, as always, please like, share the video with your friends and colleagues. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon. We will be releasing a tutorial every single week. Thank you guys for watching.